Greetings. This evening's video is a bit of a tough one, actually. In this hot, she needs a wee. Say hello. Okay, let's start again. So this video, good evening, by the way. This video is probably the hardest one I've had to make since I started this challenge 58 videos ago. And that may sound a little bit dramatic, but it really is the truth. But I think I know why it's the toughest. Let me try and explain. So part of the process of this 100 videos in 100 days was trying to work out what I wanted to talk about. Now, I had this vague idea that I wanted to give YouTube a chance and I knew that I hadn't really done a lot of video before so I knew there's a lot of things I needed to improve on. But one of the things that was a real stumbling block for me and one of the reasons why it took me so long to start this channel was because I didn't know what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about lots of things but I think we all know that to grow on YouTube it's best to find a specific topic and a niche that you can really focus on. And then once you've done that and you've built your audience, then maybe you can expand. That seems to be common YouTube philosophy. The problem I have, which is a good problem to have, just for the record, is I think I have now decided what I want my channel to be about. The downside of that is, where I've gone from making a video every day and the topic hasn't really mattered, I could talk about anything, in the back of my mind, I'm now thinking, oh, I should start talking more and more about this topic, which I will reveal in a second. The problem with that, however, is I haven't thought through exactly how the videos are gonna come out every time. I haven't thought about how I'm going to make that a daily thing. So I'm caught in this middle ground between trying to make a daily vlog and also make it about the topic that I want it to be about. Does that make sense? Am I talking gibberish? A little bit of gibberish, a little bit of sense? I don't know. So the topic I've landed on is around, vaguely around health and fitness, but a little bit more specific to health and fitness for middle-aged men, 40 plus men, me, basically. I'm gonna make the content that I think I would want to watch. My health and fitness has been pretty rubbish for most of my adult life perhaps you know two or three years ago it was kind of good I was doing I did a half Ironman I did Land's End to John O'Groats did a few half marathons a few 10ks but I will caveat that greatly by saying I did do them but they were a, they were a war of attrition all of them not one of them did I feel really like I excelled at or I was tip-top shape I just got round every one of them and there's more to there's more to health and fitness for older men it's just not about exercise I've been reading lots about collagen I've been seeing a lot about creatine and when I was younger creatine was something that you did to get jacked and now studies are showing that maybe it's something that's good for your brain and getting jacked win-win so I'm thinking about that and I think I want to do some challenges so for argument's sake I'm, I'm cycling to Bristol tomorrow hopefully, touch wood. I want to continue my everyday exercise. I want to tie it all together. But here's where the challenge lies because trying to create a story out of the bit of exercise I do every day is not always possible. For instance, I went to the gym this morning and I did weights. It's not much of a story in there. How many, I'm not expecting you to watch that, me do a quick weight session. So I need to create more. Um, this and ties it back into the dailiness. <clears throat> I'm wondering if I draw the daily activities to a close and think a little bit bigger picture. I don't know, it's all up in the air, but the conclusion is that today's video is really tough because I was caught in this rock and this hard place. On one hand, I want to create videos that are like me on my journey from fattish to fittish. And I think stuff, yes, Flower? There's lots of events I want to do, lots of challenges I want to do. Lots of things I want to do. And I think they all tie into trying to be a bit healthier, a bit fitter, a bit stronger. But I think I'm kind of in the right direction. I think there's a gap in the market for my age man, 
my age parent. You know, we're not all rippling six packs and on the cover of men's health. As you get older, being healthier, being fitter, it does get harder. Shouldn't, perhaps, but with time, with kids, with work, with all the pressures of outside life, something's got, something's got to give somewhere. And I think my, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to rebalance it. And I think that journey of rebalancing, I think, will be interesting to people. I hope it will be interesting. It would be interesting to me if I was watching. And that's really the only kind of thing I can go on. Does that make a bit of sense? I hope so. A bit of a rambly video today. I'm fully aware of that. And I think it's just getting stuff off my chest more than anything. I hope you'll uh, allow me that. And I hope it made a bit of sense. Just voicing it a bit actually makes me think a little bit more about things, so. I don't know, if you have any thoughts, have any feedback, any ideas, get in the comments, let me know. If you are middle-aged and you're trying to get a little bit fitter, why not subscribe? I apologize for the ramble. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>